Hello YouTube, hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be show, sharing, and telling about the heater that I use to heat up my 32-foot fifth wheel. This heater is a, it's an Olympian Wave 8 catalytic safety heater. These are manufactured Camco, it's actually Camco is the brand, and I believe that they, they own or they bought Olympian. So this is the heating the heating setup that I use uh, to heat the fifth wheel. I have previously used the small Mr. Buddy type heaters. And the one complaint that I had about those heaters is the the smell. They emit a, um, a particular smell. The Wave 8 heaters, they burn a cleaner. They burn much cleaner. They burn much safer. safer. They burn out uh, some more of the particulates a, a lot better than, than the Mr. Buddy heater does. So I wanted to go over and discuss uh, to, to discuss this heater and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it up and run it through a few a few positions and just show you uh, what it's like. So basically, when you buy the heater, it's it is sold in one. You buy the uh, you buy the heating unit itself, and then there's a few accessories that are add-on accessories to the heater. Uh, the feet are an add-on accessory. This cover is an add-on accessory. This cover is really important to have when you're not using the heater in the off season it will keep some of the the dust and debris out of uh, entering into the the burning uh, orifice and it will keep all of the all of the orifices clean and you know you don't want to be getting any dust or anything inside this housing uh, the other thing is the hose so this 90 degree fitting this is a an adjustable fitting you can adjust it you'll need this you'll need the hose and the hose is all one unit. It comes with the regulator and it just uh, screws onto your tank. So you are seeing I'm just using this with a portable tank. Some people uh, plumb, actually plumb this hose into their onboard RV propane system. Um, that's just not something I wanted to do. I use this tank for my barbecue and a couple of other appliances so I just kind of like uh, being able to you know rotate that around and it's flexible I can move it you know put it where I want um, I haven't had any safety issues at all with using the uh, the tank so uh, refer to the to the owners uh, to the owner's manual and you know refer on what they suggest best to do this heater can also be mounted on a wall as you can see it has the mounts for mounting it on a screw so you could hang this off of a wall um, i choose to use the the feet um, when i travel down the down the road uh, the heater does not move at all it's never it's never uh, tumbled over on me when in travel so uh, the feet are a great they're just a great uh, they work very very well uh, they have a little bit of rubber feet on uh, on the bottom there so that keeps it from from um, any other you know vibrations any other fur th further movement if you had it on a slicker surface such as a linoleum full floor it shouldn't slide on you so I think I've gone through and discussed the features of it oh there's another mount also down here on the on the bottom you can hang it on a wall so eight this is a 8000 uh, BTU heater I believe it's 8,000. They make these in a few different sizes. There's the Wave 8, there's a Wave 6, and there's a Wave 3. Uh, the only one that I have used is the Wave 8. The Wave 8 is recommended for larger RVs. If you had, uh, had, a, had a van, I have friends that use the Wave 3 in a vans and truck campers, and they find that to be um, uh, plenty, uh, plenty of enough of an adequate heat source. Uh, this certainly, I don't have any complaints at all with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it started up right now. So it's pretty simple. I'm actually going to put uh, the camera down for a minute because this requires two hands to start this. So it's just a matter of pushing this in and that primes the fuel and then you'll want to just push the igniter and usually it'll fire on the first or the second ignite ignition. Now the book, the manual says you want to hold this in for a period of 30 seconds. I find it's less than that. It's more like 15 seconds that holding this in and basically you're just, uh, you're the, um, I believe this is, there it is, it just, it just flashed, okay? And then that's when you just smooth it 
position it to the lowest low position. The manual says you want to position it on the high position, but I put it on the low and I have had no troubles whatsoever. So another important consideration, safety consideration, and this is recommended and suggested in the manual, is you want to have a vent open or um, a, win a rear window cracked open. I have my fan, my roof fan, I have it just cracked open just so uh, ever so gently. I have ran it without any windows, oh, without any windows open and I don't recommend that. I recommend having a little bit of oxygen because this heater is burning off the oxygen present in the in the camper. So it needs new oxygen to come in to burn. Um, another question that you might have is how much propane do I use? Well if I'm fully using this in the mornings and in the evenings I can get generally at least two weeks out of uh, one of these propane tanks. I think this is a five pound uh, five or seven pound propane tank and I can generally get about two weeks out of it if I'm you know being very conservative with you with use I could get you know pot potentially a month out of that but uh, so that's burning on the low setting right now and typically this is the setting that I use it I run it in all the time on low I, I very rarely put it on high um, just because I just don't find it necessary but it will definitely put out the heat um, so I'm in a fifth wheel. So one of the things that I do to heat up the rig a lot more efficiently is I slide the door, the divider door between the upstairs and the lower stairs. That just eliminates all that heat going to the upstairs and then that will heat the uh, bottom, the lower stairs living area a lot more uh, quicker and just more, more efficient, efficiently. So that's what I have found to work uh, the best. But all in all, I'm very happy with this heater. I will provide links in the description for everything that I have mentioned here. The price I paid on this heater, I paid $400 for the heater, plus all of the accessories. So I'm into this for roughly $450, which is a lot, um, all things considering. Um, one other note that I'll add is that I bought a heater uh, I bought this heater off of Amazon on one of their wholesale deals and so like it may have got been dropped or the box may have been damaged well when I got that heater I couldn't get it to run I couldn't get it to run uh, properly so I ended up returning that one and just bought a full priced item from their regular stock and I haven't had any problems whatsoever so I just wanted to add that that um, you may want to just you know, if you find a good deal on something a little bit lesser priced, you may be taking a little bit of a chance. I didn't because I bought it through Amazon and they, I still had a, uh, a guarantee, a warranty, even though I bought a wholesale deal, which was, which was great. So Amazon, um, I shipped it back free of charge and they shipped me out another one and I haven't had any issues with, with this heater. Um, please comment below if you have, if you're using one of these and you're having success with it. So that's all for now, guys. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.